Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. So, today I have the lovely opportunity to talk about a comment I got recently. Now, this isn't a bad video, don't worry. Uh, this lovely comment um, was from a guy named PT. That's his username on YouTube. And he asked me two questions about my iMac video. The one, this is off that video specifically. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. Basically, it was me talking about a 2011-27 inch iMac and what I've done to make it a much more usable computer. So, PT writes, comments, whatever you want to say, whatever word you want to use. He says, Jacob, can you answer me the question, what are the system requirements on your iMac? That's for people like me who want to get one. I have a good offer on an i7 3.4 gigahertz 16 gig RAM 6970 m 2 gig DDR5 machine. He has another question: Can this machine I have, off, I have as an offer, run the latest OS with patch and run smoothly? Thank you so much. You make good content. First of all, PT, I just want to say thank you for commenting, and I love making this content, so I'm glad you reached out. Okay, so here's the thing. A 2011 iMac is a really good machine. As we know, it's the last one of its breed with the ability to upgrade the internals um, without actually having to unseal a display because, because the 2012 and newer were laminated displays. Now, an i7 3.4 gigahertz, that is a good CPU. We're just gonna break down the specs you talked about and then we'll answer your other question, okay? So. PT, this is a good spec machine, a 16 gig RAM, 6970 graphics card. I'm going to look that one up. I do not know off the top of my head that graphics card. I know a lot of the graphics cards, not that one. Now, I will say, as this is loading up that site, um, any graphics card that's a 2 gig card is a decent card. Um, it may not be the best, but it is a good card. Let's see here. So... I have some good news and I have some bad news. So, while that is a very good graphics card, a two gig card is more than enough to push a good display, maybe even an external one if you wanted. Um, the, any of the AMD 6000 series cards, which the 6970M is a good car, is a 6000 series card, they do not have graphics acceleration. And so, you are not going to be able to run Mojave, Catalina, um, Big Sur, or definitely not even Ventura. Um, in a way, in a format that is usable. Um, I will do a follow-up video to this one when I get home where my iMac is, and I will show you on my iMac that's running Ventura, my 2011, how bad it is and some of the um, reasons I would not encourage you to do it. Um, I will also say graph uh, graphics card updates are hard. Um, not like the actual manual portion, but uh, flashing them is not the easiest part in the world, and getting that BIOS over from your card to the new card is not easy either. Um, now, otherwise though, I would say that it's a very good machine. Uh, I mean, that's a good graphics card. I mean, it's a good graphics card. It's a good spec. Um, 16 gigs of RAM. I mean, these machines technically can go up to 32. Uh, it may not be as optimized, but they can go up to 32. So, I mean, just being able to bump that up if you want to is an option for this machine. And, I mean... I would say anything under like, I don't know, I would say probably anything under like the low 330s and lower is probably a good price for this machine. Um, don't quote me on that. I mean, of course, it depends on the quality. It depends on the um, condition of the machine. And one good place, I'll link it down in the description below to check prices that I would trust very much is a um, place called iSellIMac.com. If you go to eBay and look up iSellIMac, the products... I think you can go to the user, um, again, linked below. Uh, they have a very good and reasonable, I would consider, um, price engage for how much these machines should cost. So go ahead and check that and then compare it. Maybe you can haggle the price around a little bit. Uh, another place you can check is everymac.com. Uh, you can just put in a serial number or just put in a machine, the year, the spec, all that. And then at the bottom of the page, at the bottom of all the specs, it will say how much they were new and how much the recommended price is now. So uh, check those places for sure. That is about all I've got for you, PT. Sorry about that. I will, again, do a follow-up video and show you just like the graphics issues that having these 2011s running um, high CR and higher really do run into uh, because mine is definitely having some issues as of right now. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much for commenting. Hope that helps. Another comment I got on this video was Dr. Pentecost. 
Hey Jake, a great video. I'm a photographer. Uh, I'm running a 2011 27-inch um, iMac. I'm now running it from an external SSD with a Thunderbolt connection. The OS can no longer go to high, beyond High Sierra. I know there is a guy who does dot, dot, called DOS Dude who has created a Catalina patcher, but even Catalina doesn't allow for the latest version of Photoshop and Lightroom. Do you know if there's any way to run the latest version of Photoshop and Lightroom? Thanks so much for your help. I responded, hey, I don't think there's really a way to get a 2022-2023 version of Photoshop Lightroom on an unsupported Mac. There might be a way to do it via virtual machine. I'll look into it and get back to you. Thanks. I come, came across a video from Mr. Macintosh showing how to install Big Sur on an unsupported Mac. Big Sur is the minimum OS for Lightroom and Photoshop. Not sure if there would be any hardware issues. Thanks so much. And then he sent me the video. Now, I haven't watched this video. I'm going to see if this seems like a reputable guy and see what he says, and we'll continue this video. Ah, uh, yes, open core. Okay, this is actually how I did it on my machine. I'm running it via open core. Uh, mine's not working amazingly well, again, because I have it running all the way up to Ventura, not Big Sur. I have put Big Sur on a 2008 MacBook Pro, which actually is running surprisingly well. Now, again, it's 2008 with a serial ATA um, card, and so it could definitely, ATI card, so it could definitely be running better. So, Mr. McIntosh, he's a decently reputable guy be sure to watch some of his videos another guy would be um snazzy labs did a hackintosh it's kind of the same idea especially with open core patcher um but i'll link a couple of videos for upgrading these machines in the description below now this guy here um talks about using open core legacy for anything between 28 and 2013 and getting big star on those machines now um it will be fine it'll be fine i mean i ran mojave on mine it was fine um, not amazing, but if that's all you need just to get that to run, you'll probably be fine, especially if you're doing it over an external SSD. I would not do it on the internal because it is nice to be able to have that ability to go back to the OS that, um, a standard OS that's actually supported. So I'm going to look and I will respond to you as well. Um, just like the idea of doing a VM. I'm pretty sure you can do a VM with something newer, um, and that might work better. So let's see what we can find real quick. I think this is one thing actually um, I've talked about in the past also is the idea that if your card is graphics compatible you will be able to upgrade so it really depends on your machine um, if you have a graphics uh, metal in enabled graphics card you should just be able to upgrade it may not be the best but that's really the thing that's holding back these older machines now virtualization is an option I'm sure um, one thing I will again I will f follow up on this on another video um, in a, probably around a month in uh, early to mid-December, depending on what I'm doing, um, and just talk about virtualization on that machine a little bit for sure. But I don't see why doing something like Oracle would be a problem. Um, it's going to make its own graphics engine, so you should be fine. Again, I can't promise anything, but I will look into this for sure and create a video about that this December. Yeah, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for commenting. Hope I was able to answer your questions. Again, I'll be doing a follow-up video this December about some of these things once I'm actually back around my iMac. And yeah, uh, be sure to follow me. All my links are below. Um, social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that. And my website's below too. You can sign up for my email list because it is up and running. Um, if you guys have any more questions, of course, be, feel free to reach out and comment on my love hearing from you guys and being able to help you guys in any way possible. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Comment down below what you, you want to see in an upcoming video. Diggsies fam. Peace.